Car bombing in the capital Tripoli. The French foreign minister says there could have been many victims, but the blast happened before most of the embassy's employees arrived at work. Jackie Rowland reports in Paris. The force of the explosion brought down the walls of nearby buildings and started a fire that engulfed some offices inside the embassy. One French security officer was seriously wounded, another suffered light injuries. The government has condemned the attack and promised to track down the perpetrators. It's an attack that is aimed at not only France but all the countries who are fighting against terrorist groups. I'm going to Libya immediately as discussed with the President and Prime Minister. I will go there to see the guards and after that we have a meeting with the Libyan government. The Foreign Minister called me this morning to say he was completely at our service. Last September the US consulate in Benghazi in eastern Libya was attacked. US Ambassador Chris Stevens and three other Americans were killed. Also in Benghazi last year, a convoy carrying the British ambassador was hit by a rocket. No one was seriously injured. The French embassy bombing is the first such serious attack in Tripoli, where security is generally seen as better. These targeted attacks, and, uh, you know, the, the, the attacks, if you noticed, uh, they are on those countries that helped Libya. You know, namely the American ambassador, before that was the British, and now the French. And, and one can draw only one conclusion, that those who are opposing the revolution, or who are opposing the, the change in Libya, are targeting the very people who helped Libyans uh, to realize their dream, that's democracy and freedom. Two years after the ousting of Muammar Gaddafi, Libya is awash with weapons. There are militias over which the government has no control. Jackie Rowland, Al Jazeera, Paris.